Good morning, how are you today? We are out and about, it's very windy today. We have come to Corfe Castle, which we've just driven to. It's about a 40 minute drive from where, where we're staying. It's crazy windy, hopefully you can hear me. I'm moaning about the cow poop. <laughs> the, the, um, <laughs> we've just on the drive down you can see it it looks absolutely amazing it's castle ruins it's a national trust place so it's you have to normally be normally you'd have to pay like 10 pounds to get in but because we've become national trust members we get to go for free it looks quite interesting i think we've got a little walk before we get there we're gonna have a longer one yeah we were because <laughs> the car park was full so um, she suggested a different car park, but we waited and grabbed a spot really quickly. To get a free one. To get, yeah, because members get a free parking as well, which is always good. I was just reading a little bit about this. It says that um, a few years after the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror uh, swapped a church in Gillingham for the land where he began to build Corfe Castle. William the Conqueror started to build it. And the people, the Banks family, if you watched the vlog the other day, we went to the Kingston Lacey. The Banks family who owned that owned this as well. They moved out of here to build Kingston Lacey. The castle, you can't, it's just the ruins, I should say. It's not really a castle. It's just up this hill through those trees there. I think this is the way, but I'm not really sure. I don't think it is. Are there no signs? No, I think we might need to go back. Oh, look, here it is. I don't know. Maybe if you, yeah, there looks like there might be a gate up here. And we can go a that away. No, because the road there. This isn't the right way, I don't think. Let's just if we if we can't what's the sign? If we can't get through here, I don't think it's right. But like should the gates not have signs? Oh, I mean we can get down here, but I don't think I want to. What is it? No, because look there's a road that we, there's a main road there that we have to get across to go up to the castle. We need to go back, this is wrong. Hang on, village centre, the castle, the rings to Purbeck Way, this way. Told you. We were going the right way, did you say? Yeah, <laughs> we you go? said there was a sign saying the castle. Come on then, let's go back the way. Should we try, should we go this way? I don't think you can. You can, it's okay, but go this way. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> No, and now there's more of them that I can lift up as I go along. What? That way to the castle. Do you want to go to the little river bit? No. no? Hang on, sorry. Do you not want to play in the river? It's not a river, is it? What was it called? A leech. Oh, a leech, as Stephen says. <laughs> a leech. So, yeah, who can get it the furthest? Yeah, we just... Um, okay. Are you ready? I'm not sure. One, yeah. two, three, drop. <laughs> Where's la is Over that lava there. stick? You just threw it, you're not supposed to throw it, you're supposed to drop it. <laughs> it's going both ways. Oh. Oh, lava stick ended up over there. <laughs> lava, lava, in the air. <laughs> you never played poo sticks, lava. <laughs> well, which one was mine? The small one. Mine. Stevens is winning. I thought the water was flowing the other way. Under the castle. Wow, it's a very yeah, steep hill. Down. Quarter of a mile this away. Oh, hang on. Got to do. How do you do this? Oh, like that. No what? No biking. Oh yeah. A wildlife walk to castle, tea rooms, and shop. I wonder if we can eat our picnic here because I'm hungry. Is that your walking stick? Well, oh, there's a thing. It's about the river, I reckon. The mound. Oh, the mound. The mound the castle was built on is not man made. It's part of the Purbeck Chalk Ridge. That's right, it was the chalk. Because they were, didn't, they, it said that the castle, they were doing, um, oh, the rivers and the ridge. Thank you a million right. years ago, two rivers flowed north towards Pool Harbour. They cut through a weak point in the chalk ridge, leaving the mound in the middle. It was, in, it was built there. One side they was doing, um, it was the, where they quarried for marble. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on. Oh look, here's the ruins. 
on this side of us. Actually, there. there's a big bit of tumble. That's why I thought you were talking about. No, I was talking about that little piece Three, there. Four, five, four. Whoa, we were just reading. There's like little signs of information things as we're going five, past. And it was saying that there's these big rocks when they blew up. Who blew it up? Yeah. Parliamentarians. Yeah. Yeah. Parliamentarians blew up this Corfe Castle in like 1646 or something and um, with gunpowder and it okay. said that there's these when when they blew it up all like these bit, obviously bits of stone fell down the like the mound and there's 74 of them and these are the like some of them fall. it does look like that's gonna fall at the top nice. oh look at this it's like a cute little village do people live people live here yeah Corf castle tea rooms I think this is where if we'd have continued up this road, that road, we'd have, yeah. have come to this little village. We'd have missed that. Oh, what a cute little village. I'd like to have a little wander around this little village. Oh, we're crossing the bridge up to the castle. Yeah, you can see how... I saw people like walking up the mountains like the mound side did you when we were down at the bottom I wonder where they were yeah maybe we are in oh yeah yeah they've got um encampment talks this is the encampment thing like the special little event thing welcome to the civil war encampment please mind the tent ropes and be aware of open fires encampment talks half 11 we've missed that oh half one civil war surgery that's now yes to be honest, a good, a good amputation <laughs> to uh, the very end in about 90 seconds. This is the armour. Do you want to feel the armour lava? There's bits of armour. Oh, and there's little rags with oil and things that you clean. You get, you get a stamp sheet. I saw that. Do you want to see if we can find one? Not by this. I want to see if we can find one. Some kids okay. had like a little st a sheet where they were stamping. Oh look, family quest dressing up tent. Do you want to put a dressing up tent? Do you want to put an outfit on, Stephen? I want to. I have dressed up. Can you want to go to a temple? Yeah, can you, uh, can you show? I believe you want to go to a temple. We've dressed up, we've come into the tent. Okay, so we're going to go back into the encampment. Now we've got dress. We're going to go back into the encampment. Stephen's got like this little um, booklet thing to do as we go around. A loaded cannon. A loaded cannon. Yeah. What do you mean? Where, where have you got that from? Oh, and there's a list of things to do. Oh, wow. Is this the cannon? It's a trebuchet, right? That's what it's called. I forgot what it's called. That's, I get that from my gaming days, I remember from Age of Empires, yeah, it's a trebuchet. Oh look, these are the little things, that each of these stall things, there's like a little, yeah, I feel it, there's like a little glass thing with ink and we need to stamp it. Me do it, I can do it. You do it, Dee? Yeah. You have to come close. Sign into the armoury, is it this one? Here we go. Ooh, this is fun. Careful, careful! <laughs> Watch the tent fold. <laughs> Got that stamp? Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's all wallen. Alright, Savannah. Yeah, we're going forward a bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Loading a cannon. So let's get started. Ooh, let's get Can you started. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. The what? The mop? It says on them. That's the rammer. No. That's the mop. Just put that in. Slide it all the way. In. Slide it all the way in. Now the barrel is closed. You need to load some powder into it. Use the ladle. Oh, that's cool. The ladle. What does it say? Put you put what are you doing this for? Putting some powder in it. Putting some gunpowder in there. Oh, so you see where it's leaving the little encampment and going up to the tent now. Not to the tent, to the castle. Wow. 
It's very windy. We've just stopped before we go up to the castle. We've just got our picnic blanket out. We're going to have our lunch that we brought with us. We've finished our lunch now. That was just chaos in the right word. <laughs> it was just so windy and just grass was growing in us. Growing? <laughs> blowing in our sandwiches and stuff. So we ate quite a lot of grass there. We're done. We're going up to the castle. Hey. Dry grass. Hey, yeah, nice. Oh, family quest. Oh, yeah, this is the thing that you've got to do. So Walter Earl, so Walter Earl commanded parliamentary troops in 1643. Oh, this is like, so you've got to put the numbers into your, into your box. Oh, and then you can play top trumps with it when yeah. you get home. That's quite a cool idea. Yeah, so you get like an imprint on there. Oh, that's cool. Push as hard as you can. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's like, oh it says Earl, oh he's got beer. Uh, farmhouse. A farmhouse. A cow. A cow, <laughs> you can shoot the cow. Is it for archers or like for anyone? Archers. What you can do, you can stab someone through it. And there's the arrows. And the sword. No, I mean like, do they have guns? Do they didn't have guns back then. Guns? Well, if they've got the thingy. Well, they got muskets down there. Yeah, Civil War. I don't know, but it wasn't such a ridiculous question, was it? Views are lovely though. <laughs> wow. What a shame that they blew it up. Stay down, stay down. No, just just a little bit and then. But no one else has found this secret spot. We should have had our picnic in here. We should have had our picnic in here. That, why didn't we have our picnic in here? We could have swept out the sand. Yeah, not that, it rocks. It would have been better than out there. Flipping, isn't it? <laughs> Cromwell, young Royalist officer Cromwell led 120 troops from Oxford to rescue Lady Banks. In the top, and I think, it, yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit now, so we might go back down. It's quite a way, yeah, because our car's parked there. Yeah, that's the car park, right? Can you? Oh, I can see the car next to the white one, yeah. Look at these views there. Yeah, it's already here. The rain has come. Saw the rain before it got oh yeah, oh that was cool. We're trying to make, well we think it's a bridge, we're not sure. Oh yeah, that, there we go. That's it. Dark Stevens put like a wonky bit on. Oh, that's a trick piece, I think. They shouldn't be here. They shouldn't be here, they're over there. Oh yeah, they should, they put that other piece over there. Built a bridge. Yeah, there's a wall over there. I'm gonna try building a wall. Good. Try and walk on it. Push down it. I think it's strong. Oh, flower broken. I'm not gonna throw something at you. I'm gonna throw, I'll throw the rubbish at you. The hummus. <laughs> Glad I ate it. No, I'm not going to throw anything at you. Good girl. Ooh, you're going to get a good shot, Carter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get away. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Right, you put some safety specs on for me. <coughs> no doubt you've heard me explain it while you were waiting. But I'll do it one more time. I'm going to creep around. No. No. I see it looked easy out there, didn't it? But <laughs> now you're in here. Take your rammer. Probably the other one, but we'll see how that one goes. Don't push really hard as you end up with a splattery shotgun effect. <laughs> Lovely, that's it. Leave it alone. Oh. <laughs> Pass me that stick, will you? Get a good shot card, sir. Okay. You're going gangster style, are you? Just from <laughs> here. Don't really care. Okay? Fire at will. Bit high. Reload. This is more quick, quick. Come on, Carter. Yep. All the way down. Lovely. I've changed the stick now. Oh, now you can't, yeah. can you? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Still war. Quick, quick. Come on. The people lying on the ground recently said, "Oh, wasn't that a good shot to them?" <laughs> Oh, did you hit them things, Stephen? Um, our guns aren't very accurate in 17th century uh, oh, because of course. they're round. They're firing round bullets, but they haven't got any rifling, so they tend to float around a bit. Of course, if you're on the receiving end, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Instantly, he can't actually shoot a paintball up his nose as they're on microchips. <laughs> Well done. Well done. Oh, done. Both oh, good. is that good? No jams, no panic. Good oh, work. thank you very much. Uh, so okay. you get one of these each? Okay. So, just in case there is a civil war, oh, you go lovely. a little training. Thank you. <laughs> oh, is that good? You should like that. That's cool. We are all done in Corp Castle. What did you think of it? Good. Have a good time. Did you have a good time, Lara? Yes, yeah. I did. Definitely. My favourite National Trust place that I've so been far. to. So far, yes. What are you going to say? I've seen two classic cars. Classic cars. Um, with the rescue. Rescue, because <laughs> they're, they're all breaking down. we just come out. We're in the, like, the little village area. We're going to head down. When we came up. Stone. Yes. We should look to see some, see some stone from the castle that they've built. Some of these houses. With. But, um, yeah, we walk like, through the the countryside, I don't know what you call it, like the wildlife trail, nature, nature reserve trail on the way up, but we're going to walk, like nature walk, yeah, we're going to walk down through, although it's really noisy, right? Yeah. I thought it'd be a nice little walk in the, the little village, right. but it's, well, you're probably, I wasn't imagining it was going to be this busy, but it's very busy, with all the National Trust people. <laughs> oh, back in the car. We're done. Oh, it feels nice, right? Yeah. To be out of that wind. It's crazy, crazy, crazy out there. Right, it is. What time is it? Five past four. Should we see about that pick your own place? Shall I just drive into it and see? Yeah. Okay. I'll drive into it. We spotted on the way down the pick your own strawberries place and up north, where, well, where we live, we couldn't um, we couldn't do any picking strawberries. So, let's see. I think we should drive in and pick something simple. Well, I mean, it started raining. But we'll see, yeah, we'll go, we'll, let's go, yeah. Right, we've come to the pick your own. I'm not sure whether there is anything to pick, but we're going to have a little look. Leaves low. Strawberries availability is very low. Lift the leaves, leaves. Blueberries, very good. Blackcurrants, low, last few. Raspberries, medium. Part the canes. It's 69p per 100 grams. Oh, best rose today. I'm so pleased we get to go picking. We might be able to find a few strawberries. Grabbing the fruit and pulling can result in large parts of the plant being ripped off and destroyed. Strawberries this way, raspberries, blueberries. The more berries, the further up the hill you go. Let's go! You think, look, oh, yeah, you've got to like look deep inside down the plant. There. Down there. Pulling it. Ooh, yeah, pop it in. Maybe not quite right, but it'll be alright. Oh, is there? Should set Lara, she could probably feel around in the bushes. Oh, that's a nice big one. Good spot. 
Do you know the feel like or not really? Just, do, just in front of you there. Just get those, all of those plants. Don't. Oh, good spot. We've gathered up a few strawberries. There's not many strawberries to be honest, but a lot of green ones. yeah, there is a lot of green ones. But oh, we, look, blueberries. I've never yeah, seen blueberries growing. Blue forward. The, they just pull most up. of them aren't ready though, I don't think. Well, them single they are. Yeah. They're not really ready. Go, let's go further up oh. where. find well we found like four raspberries we can't really find any raspberries all we can find is strawberries and blueberries so we're just grabbing what we can up there we've got loads of blueberries some woman's just walked past she's got like i think now it's something like a seventh big punnet of blueberries i don't know i don't know what she's doing but blueberry everything we're done We've got loads of blueberries there, and we've got loads of blueberries in Stephen's little basket, and some strawberries underneath. <laughs> Lara's just got tangled up in the net. <laughs> I got a little bit tangled up, but then you just... <laughs> but not like a hat. <laughs> I just got dragged back a little bit. <laughs> but we're done, we're going back. We got this huge thing. For £5.60. Well, I gave him £6. I reckon in the supermarket. It's, that'd be like 20 quid. It's over a kilo. It's over, is it over a kilo? Yeah, because it's it over a kilo. Oh, yeah. It's 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1 kilo. 1. 1.1. I think it's 1.1 1. 1 and 10, 110. Like, 1 kilo and 110 grams. Um, <laughs> I think that's her car. Did you get a lorry? We've got a million balls. We just don't know. Let me find some. Oh, oh, I thought that was a ball falling out of a tree, but it was a, a bird. We are back home. We're just playing in the garden with the dogs. So I've had to get um, everyone involved in it because with four dogs, they kind of just lost all the bloody balls. Oh, it's mine, it's mine. No. <laughs> we, need, we need a little ball. Yeah, here's a ball. We need one for Peppa because the other two just take over. Go and give it to Steven. Give it to Stephen. No, this is Pepper's ball. <laughs> because do the take over here. Do the like hang on. Oh Pepper's like just watches. Oh. Wait. Yeah, the others are distracted with Stephen. Oh. She <laughs> she just sort of turned around and was like, nah, don't fancy that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you smack him in the mouth? <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> You're bothered. Oh, he's not bothered. <laughs> hey, Triggy, you haven't played ball yet, have you? No. No, look, over there. Over there. Does he want to play ball? Hey, Triggy. Yay. Oh, yeah, see, they do. Oh, I don't know how much he does want to play ball. Mm. Oh, what happened? Did you. You were passing in the ball, he just hit a ball on my chest. <laughs> I was looking down and tweaking it. I just. <laughs> 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 Did you just hit a dog in the face? <laughs> 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 that hurt? Yeah. He's hit a dog in the face and me on the chest. Ha <laughs> ha